Okay, up to the fourth floor. So the lift is a lift institute. Oh, it's a Schindler. This is it holds 13 people, a ton of people. It is a big lift. Hmm. Maybe, maybe so. You never know. Welcome to room 4417 at the NH Hotel in Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. I'm staying here for one night on a bed and breakfast basis and I've paid 145 euros and 25 cents to stay in this massive room. Okay, pretty impressive actually, the size of it. Not cheap, but it isn't cheap to stay here. Let me go back to the beginning and I'll talk you through what I've got. So this is where I came in. We've got the bathroom there. And do you know what? Let's go straight into the bathroom. So you've got a nice big area just here for putting your bits and bobs on. You've got hand soap and body lotion and whatever is in the mystery box. Probably a shower cap. There's a hairdryer for those people that like to preen their buffons with a black mambo. And then we've got what looks like a kitchen tap just there. Uh, toilet here and a fantastic shower cubicle. So it's not a shower over a bath. There is a shower over a bath if you want to use it. So you've got a choice of having a bath or a shower. And I like that because I like a shower, not a bath. <laughs> you've got shower gel, conditioner, shampoo. Shower gel, conditioner, shampoo, towels, and a rather sort of, I don't know how to describe the tiling, but you know, it's basically browns and diamonds. That'll do, browns and diamonds. Right, let's move on. So there is wooden floor in the room and tiled floor just there. So no carpet. So upon entering the room just here, there is a nice luggage storage area, which the suitcase will fit on and the storage space underneath it. Next to that is a fridge. Yep, it's a fridge. Uh, you've got some bits and bobs just here for helping if you've bought yourself drinks downstairs. There is a shop downstairs and there is a safe just here, which is one that you just put your own code in. It looks big enough to accommodate a laptop, I would say. There's a shelf above and then we have air conditioning. And here is the wardrobe, so we've got the 
a shelf in there, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coat hangers there, and my luggage underneath, ignore that, it doesn't come with the room. And then just here, lots of shelving. So there is an absolute ton of storage here, actually. Really, really good amount of storage. Bedside table with drawer. And you've got a plug socket next to the bed and a light next to the bed. We like, good, good. Now look at the size of that bed. Just let's just take one second to look at the size of that bed, right? Imagine how wide your pillows are at home. This is the same. So we've got literally three pillow widths of bed. It's a triple bed. It's a monster. It's probably the biggest bed I've stopped in for a long time. It's absolutely enormous. There's my feet for comparison. So yeah, on this side of the bed, you've got telephone. This time, is it a drawer? No, you don't have a drawer on this side of the bed. There's a discrimination. Um, but you have got a plug socket and a light and another plug socket down there. So plenty of plug sockets for charging your bits and bobs up. And that's good. There's a nice big window with a neck curtain and curtains behind it. Now I asked for a room on a high floor with a runway view because I like to look at aeroplanes. Uh, and when I got here, it took her a little while, um, the uh, reception member of staff, and uh, I got the impression that the room I was allocated to wasn't ready for whatever reason, and I've been bumped into this room instead. So I didn't get what I asked for in terms of the runway view, but I am on a high floor, but I have a feeling I might have been bumped up from a standard to an executive room because this is more than I was expecting, to be quite honest. So I think this could be an executive room. Um, there's a Philips flat screen TV, standard desk, uh, chair on wheels, all good. Tea and coffee making facilities with a Krups. I never know how to use these things. I never ever use them. And then you've got a bit of shelving space there. Oh, whoa, what one? It's not a shelf. Look at this. It's a shelf that comes out. It's a peninsula. And then drawers underneath. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Another plug socket. Oh, and a British plug socket. Wow. They haven't forgotten us. We might have left the EU, but they haven't forgotten us. Thank you. Right. So let's just have a quick, uh, quick squeeze from here. Yeah, nice. I like it. Uh, air conditioning unit just there. All good. So, so I'm just here for one night. I'm flying home tomorrow, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little nosy around the hotel, do a bit of filming slyly, obviously, surreptitiously, add it into the film. And that's it. All right then, I'll catch you in a bit. I need to unpack, possibly have a shower. That'd be nice. Just one more thing to mention. There is a complimentary beverage, it says there. A complimentary bottle of water. I think that's worth pointing out. So you don't buy one when you get here, okay? Right, I am going now.
不要啤酒不喝。好，好，好，没有，不要不要不要，我没有，我不要不要，我们不要先不要放。他吃没有，他吃三十一号口味，三十号给我。没关系，没关系。The film that you've just watched is a Moss Travel Media production and you can find more like them by going to www.mosstravel.tv Thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel and watching my film, it's hugely appreciated. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, by going to youtube.com forward slash Stuart Moss Hit the red subscribe button, when you've done that a little bell will appear, if you hit the bell then you'll also get notifications about any future travel films which I upload. If you like my travel films then you might also like my second channel which is about home and garden. Uh, please uh, have a look for that channel, you'll find it at www.mosshomeandgarden.co.uk and if you like what you see please give that a subscribe also. If you'd like to connect with me as Moss Travel Media on other social media then you'll find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Moss Travel, that's the page. And if you'd like to connect with the profile then the profile is Moss Travelog. If you'd like to connect with me on Instagram to see my travel photography, where I'm up to, what stories I'm telling, then go to instagram.com forward slash stewmoss or do a search for user stewmoss. If you'd like to connect on Twitter, I'm at Moss Travel TV. On Pinterest, I'm Moss Travel Media, which is pinterest.co.uk forward slash Moss Travel TV. On Tumblr, I'm stuartmoss.tumblr.com or just do a search for Moss Travel Tumblr. On WordPress, I'm wordpress.com forward slash view forward slash Moss Travel TV dot wordpress.com or do a search for Moss Travel Media on WordPress. And on vcontactor you can find me by going to vk.com forward slash Moss Travel Media or doing a search for Stuart Moss. If you'd like to contact me about film usage or any other issue please just email me on mosstraveltv at gmail.com and once again, thank you for watching and for your support. I really, really do appreciate it. I wish you all the best of days, happy travels and bon voyage.